Private members' business, notice number two, motion relating to ABC and SBS. I call the honourable member for Fremantle. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I move the motion relating to the ABC and SBS in the terms in which it appears on the notice paper. Madam Speaker, I'm very pleased to bring this motion forward for debate and discussion because the ABC and SBS are such a critical part of our national life and identity, and because since the election of the Abbott government, we've seen a concerted assault on our public broadcasters in the form of a campaign of veiled and not so veiled threats in relation to funding and in the form of intimidation towards news organisations who dare hold politicians to account. The ABC and SBS are each in their own way cornerstones of Australian life. They are not just two of a range of media options. Instead, they have a fundamentally different and distinctive character and purpose from other community-based and commercial media platforms. They inform and educate, question and analyse, celebrate and entertain. And they do so without fear or favour, without compromising quality or content as a result of any undue market pressure or the influence of ownership. Madam Speaker, the focus of our national and multicultural broadcasters is squarely on the needs and interests of the Australian community. As a migrant nation where fully one quarter of our population was born outside Australia and some 43 per cent of Australians have at least one parent born overseas, the importance and value of multicultural and foreign language broadcasting is plain. But perhaps most importantly of all, in recognition that a healthy democracy depends on an informed public and on high quality independent journalism, public broadcasting is essential for its proven capacity to be the most reliable source of news and current affairs. When you look at Essential Media's survey on media trustworthiness and news and current affairs from 2013, 73 per cent of Australians trusted ABC TV and 70 per cent trusted ABC Radio, whereas only 46 per cent trusted commercial TV and 44 per cent trusted commercial radio. The gap is stark. And for those who suggest the internet's range of media options is fast making traditional news sources like the ABC and SBS less relevant and less important, it is salient to note that only 40 per cent trusted news and opinion websites and 23 per cent trusted blogs. Madam Speaker, I grew up in rural Western Australia and I can tell you that in the country and in the regions the ABC is part of your household in the same way that water pipes and taps are part of your household. It is a lifeline, precious and essential. The ABC, ABC is there on the kitchen radio in the morning and through the television news after dinner at night. Kids watch high quality children's programming uninterrupted by advertising. Farmers like my parents in Donnybrook and workers alike tune in for weather and emergency warnings, for local, national, international sport and for news about their part of Australia, for their stories and voices. The maintenance of news bureaus and journalists with a capacity to cover and give voice to stories from right across this massive and sparsely populated continent is a task that only the ABC is equipped and prepared to do. One thing I'd like to specifically mention is the appetite that both the ABC and SBS have for commissioning and screening programs that tackle difficult, complex, controversial and even confronting subject matter. I have in mind programs like SBS's Go Back to Where You Came From and the ABC's Four Corner Investigations into the Live Export Industry. These kind of programs hold up the mirror in which we can look at ourselves and sometimes struggle with what we see. That can make life difficult for government, and it did at times for the Labor government. But that is what a free and fearless media must do, and I celebrate the fact that our ABC and our SBS deliver that kind of courage. So it worries me. It worries my constituents in Fremantle, and it worries Australians in rural and regional areas a great deal to hear the Prime Minister of the country and others in the coalition taking every opportunity to make partisan attacks on the ABC whilst calling its very purpose into question. I am pleased that Minister Turnbull stated in this place last week that the ABC is more important than ever. I have no reason to think that the current efficiency review into the ABC and SBS, if conducted fairly, will produce results any different from, than the other two previous coalition-initiated inquiries into the ABC. I note that KPMG's 2006 ABC Funding Adequacy and Efficiency Review concluded that the ABC was operating efficiently but suffered from a structural funding deficiency and bore costs that weren't faced by commercial operators. Strangely, the Howard government chose not to release the KPMG report. I trust that Minister Turnbull will apply the principle of transparency, which is cited as a reason for this current review, to ensure that the results of the review are made public. Madam Speaker, on the very eve of the election last year, the Prime Minister said, no cuts to education, no cuts to health, no change to pensions, no change to the GST, and no cuts to the ABC or SBS. 
it really doesn't come any clearer than this unequivocal commitment to Australian voters as they contemplate the ballot box. Madam Speaker, the Prime Minister will be judged by that promise and we will hold him to it. All those millions of Australians who depend on public broadcasting, who rely on the ABC and SPS for trusted news and quality programming, will fight to protect those cornerstones of our civic and community life.